stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. This Thor News video is intended for adults who have the ability to think critically and ask and sometimes answer big questions. If that ain't you, GTFO, B. All right, with that out of the way, for those of you that wanted a sprinkle of doom, well, here you go. Here's your doom, supersized in what could be a super dense object. It is a neutron star inbound for a rendezvous with our sun. Now, I'm not sensationalizing this. I'm just taking a guess, and I'm telling you my gut feeling, that is exactly what we are about to see looks like. So the shape we are looking at right now, I want you to remember that. And somebody might say, well, that's actually like our sun in a solar system like ours. It's not a neutron star. I recognize that. But we are looking at bow shock and all the crap that something like that drags with it. Everything's been weird, man. They've been printing money like you can print money in unlimited amounts. Everything's been weird since 1999. Something changed the game and I don't know what it is. And so, with NASA acting extra weird, and then them announcing that they were going to shut down the stereo cameras due to malfunctions, and then I read a thing that said, stereo cameras were only supposed to last two years. They lasted six years, so we should be happy that they lasted that long. Well, that means you guys had like four to six years to put up new and improved replacements, and they just decided not to, which is really weird. Anyway, so we're looking at the stereo ahead HI2 camera and if you'll notice there's Venus and then the body that comes in is Comet C2014 E2 Jacos and then we have my little neutron star buddy now I don't know it is a neutron star I don't know what it is all I know is it grows from nothing so it's not a hair in the camera unless that hair grew from like quantum mechanics inside the lens and is moving across the lens you can see it's got a bow shock feature it seems to be traveling more in a straight line towards us than as the things that are orbiting around and obviously they had planned to take off the stereo camera very soon and seeing as how they have not updated this camera since the 6th it is now the 10th they may not update it again and if they do they may scrub that thing out but I'm saying I have no idea what it is you can't say swamp gas you can't say lens flare I do notice on the blue version, they totally scrub it out. But as you can see, it grows from the little speck and then just gets, keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, I've been sitting on a story for a couple weeks now. I do that sometimes. I hope that someone else will cover it because I don't want to be the first person to come out with it. Um, but nobody did. So I thought, all right, here you go. So at the very end basis, WTF is that, man? You tell me. None of your old logical explanations are, are gonna work. It ain't swamp gas. It ain't dark matter farts. You know? So I'd love to hear someone tell me what it is. So this first video is just letting you know what's there and asking you what the hell do you think it is. I don't know. Looks like a neutron star or some fast moving, carrying a lot of junk behind it star thingy. Now I don't think the bodies look just a little speck kind of at the apex of the bow. It's not the entire crescent. That's just the crap that's around it or time speed broken or whatever. Anyway, so there you go. Another Thor News exclusive where I'm breaking the astronomy news that is crazy. WTF, man. It'll be interesting to hear what people say about this one. That is just weird looking, man. And professional science has been act pretty sketchy for a while who knows maybe they're being dicks to secure a spot in a bunker but why would you want to be trapped in a concrete shoebox if the tectonic plates are moving around you know i wouldn't think in that situation anything would be safe hopefully the powers are being mad if you didn't want me to know you wouldn't have left it up there on the camera you would have taken stereo down a month ago right i mean i've been watching this thing for a while now you know with them shutting down stereo i just felt you know anyway i'll do another episode on this probably this weekend and we'll get back into neutron stars which i've covered several times i'll leave some links and some quickie things at the end because neutron stars are smaller but they have more mass 
and the sun and their electromagnetic field is supposed to be just crazy. All right, so it's panic cuddling time and I damn think I deserve a wonderful cuddle session. But I know it's 2014. Most of the super cool, super beautiful single ladies I know are betting their day-to-day -day lives on guys that they need to change in some major way. Nobody said life was fair, dude. Okay, peace out. All right, God bless everybody. Remember, the end has no end.